yep, I'm packing up, I'm heading out, it's time to leave, I'm going on a work trip. I'm sad to go, but I'm a little bit excited because I'm going to Belgium and I'm going for work, which means I don't have to pay for it. And even better, it's Christmas, which means Christmas markets and beautiful, amazing, wonderful Christmas things to do. So I'm super excited. And right now I am going to show you how to pack for a work trip because you got to have work stuff. You got to have fun stuff. There's got to be all sorts of stuff, but it's all going in one suitcase. Well, and a carry on, but we're going to have some extra room to spare because I got to bring stuff back because you know, that's part of the fun of traveling. So let's go. This right here is everything I'm taking. It's all laid out and ready to go. So let me walk you through. First things first, we have our spreadsheet. Let me talk to you about this spreadsheet before I get going. So I have this spreadsheet and I have different ways of packing because I have a spreadsheet for everything, everything. I have spreadsheets for my spreadsheets. So on each spreadsheet, I have everything I could possibly need for the work trip. And I go down depending on how many days and I put in the numbers for each type of trip. And so this one, we're going to focus on work trip because there are certain things that you need for a work trip that you don't need for like a vacation trip. And for me, if I'm going to Columbia, that's a totally different kind of trip. So I have different spreadsheets for each type of trip long trips, short trips, weekend trips, cold trips, warm trips. Well, not really. I don't have it differentiated by cold and warm. I just have at the top of every spreadsheet to check the local weather before packing. So for a work trip, I have categories. I have my clothing. I have my general travel stuff. I have my work stuff, my miscellaneous stuff, my YouTube items, which hasn't always been in my spreadsheet, but since I started a YouTube channel, I now always travel with YouTube stuff. And last but not least, I have my toiletries. So you can see here the different types of clothing that I have. For a professional outfit, I would have different clothes than a casual outfit. And workout clothes are obviously different from everything else. By having a spreadsheet, I never forget anything. Ever. That's a lie. I've forgotten stuff. It happens. So there are certain things I always travel with and I'm going to walk you through those right now. So all of this right here is for my carry on and this will go on the plane with me. Most of it is because it's stuff I don't want to lose or stuff I'm going to actually use on the plane. So I have my sunglasses and medications, my headphones and my laptop. This is my travel documents. I also have my work credentials in here, which I'm not going to take you to out and show you, but I have like all of the cards and documents that I would need at the airport. So I have my debit card, my travel sinking fund debit card. I have my work credentials. I have my travel pillow and my travel blanket, which I love. Um, Alina has pilfered, but I try and steal it back. Then I have my agenda for work, which I take my notes with. And then this is my YouTube agenda. I have my little purse, my travel paperwork, which includes my presentation notes or any sort of thing there my work phone, my umbrella. It's supposed to be raining when I get to Belgium. So got to have an umbrella ready, easily to grab. These are all my cords and plugs. And I love this thing. It's called a grid it. Oh my goodness. I'll put a link down below to that. I have two of these. I love them for traveling. I have my external hard drives here for my laptop, which is used for my YouTube editing software. Then down here, I have my shoes and I have the shoes on. I'm all dressed and ready to go. And these are the shoes I'm gonna wear on the plane. And then these are my work shoes. And then I'm gonna wear these shoes for walking around. I don't, I don't typically take a hair dryer with me. Most hotels nowadays actually have uh, hair dryers. So and then I have my jewelry, which actually needs to go with my travel stuff, my carry-on. 
I, with my jewelry, with regard to that, hold on, let me open this up for you. The only jewelry I take is jewelry that I am not worried about losing. This is all stuff I bought in Mexico, but it's not terribly valuable jewelry. It'll allow me to change my jewelry every day. These are silicone wedding rings. Let me see if I can get those. So these are my wedding rings and my silicone wedding rings. I absolutely, under no circumstances, do I travel with my regular wedding ring. It just screams, hey, come rob me. So I always leave that at home and then travel with silicone wedding rings. One of the many things that I learned over the years of traveling. The next thing we have over here is just a purse that I use to carry my agenda into meetings and it allows me to carry like my pen and sling it over my shoulder shoulder because the little tiny purse that I travel with generally I I don't take that to meetings it's too small so then I have all my nighttime and you know toothbrushes lotions face lotions I do travel with sample sizes of my prescription medication my dermatologist is super awesome and gives me a handful of those for traveling and then I have my face cleanser my feet meds and then my face meds, my ankle meds, and then these things are called Mighty Patches, and they are amazing if you get acne. I have cystic acne, so I put one on at night. I'm a huge picker, so if I put it on at night, it actually reduces the swelling. It doesn't make the redness go away, but it makes it flat, so I don't pick it. So I use those constantly. I have my contacts for the week, my makeup. My tip for makeup is that you should actually put a full face of makeup on before you start packing. And that way you won't forget anything. This is my face oil and my lip oil. And I pack those separately because they're glass bottles and they are risky for breaking. And I pack them with cotton balls, not because I use the cotton balls, but because the cotton balls will absorb any extra oil if the bottles break and they cushion the bottles from banging together. And then I have all my YouTube equipment, you know, my Osmo, my gimbal, my two tripods, my phone stand, my mic. And then over here I have my pajamas and all of my undergarments. So the trick with my clothes is I pack my outfits on a hanger, the entire outfit on one hanger and then I just take these and I fold them in half and put them in the suitcase. It's really easy to pull them out. They don't really get wrinkled. A couple of these outfits transition from work outfits into evening outfits, but for the most part, I have a work outfit for the day and a casual outfit for the night. And this is the bulky, annoying part. I have two coats. I have to take my business coat because I will be wearing a suit for two days. So I can't very well take this puffer coat, but I don't, I don't know that it's gonna be super cold. So I'm gonna take my little puffer coat. The good news about the puffer coat is it fits in this little tiny bag, so it doesn't take up a huge amount of space. So now I need to go and get all of this stuff into the suitcase and I am good to go and we leave for the airport in 15 minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that now. So, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.